Hello everybody, welcome back to Ghost Recon Desert Siege. Today we are... I am going to be... Doing... It looks like we have a rush a job on for our this hand. mission. Flame pillar, and... What the hell? There we go. Jumped ahead. So, flame pillar. Uh, this is... Kinda like, uh, the first mission, Burning Sands. It's just a... Pretty much a kill mission. And to get the objective, you have to kill all enemy units, so. That's what we're gonna do anyway. So. And there is a, a bit of a timer on the mission. As in, you have to eliminate the explosive squad before you. Before he do, he finishes doing his stuff, and I believe it takes five and a half minutes for the objective to fail. So if you don't kill the guy, and it's only one guy you have to kill. I mean, you're gonna have to kill all the guys around him first, but there's only one guy in the squad, I think, that identifies it as the explosive squad. But yeah, you have five and a half minutes to kill him, which is not a problem, because I have regularly been completing this in 10 minutes and uh i i'd say the longest part is kind of all right we'll we'll get to all that later let's do a enemy count on this one so there are 38 enemies in this mission if you go into the the uh, mission editor it'll say there are 41 because there are three captive workers but you know, subtract 3 from 41 to get 38. And this is the first introduction of Jeeps in the game, which... They're not very hard to deal with if you're on point with your shooting. Sometimes... Sometimes they'll, like, take a pot shot and get lucky and knock you out in one hit, but... Usually you can take out, take out the gunners and then the driver and then... It's not much to deal with. So, at the very beginning of this mission, like right in this, basically in this entire area right here, I believe there are, there are three guys here, three come down here, I think there are nine? I didn't really do much. Um, okay, fuck. Okay, so there are eight guys here in the beginning. I, I had that writ written down, but I thought there were an extra guy there for a second. So there are eight guys around here. And as soon as you engage them, which is the very first thing you'll do, there's a jeep with two guys in it that'll drive down this main road. And they're not too hard to deal with. And then there are... There are eight guys in this refinery area, in total. Kinda two... Two right around here, one further up, one guy, which is the explosives guy, which isn't a threat at all, so... Barely counts as an enemy. But he's working on the stuff. So there are three guys over here, and then there are four guys, kinda. They spawn right here. And I think there's a trigger that as soon as a player enters the refinery they freak out and run like to the entrances like kind of around this building either in or around this way I've never had them run around this way so but well this is probably the the longest part of the mission just waiting for them to come down because you could try and intercept them but I don't know I've tried some other stuff and it's just easier to wait so anyway, after you do that, that will be the... This objective completed. And then, you'll go out here, there will be three guys. You'll, basically, I think, uh, once you kill the objective, or, yeah, kill the objective, that will cause an, an ambush to happen. And there's no real good place for this thing. There's gonna be a truck with three guys in it that spawns up here in this building. That's gonna come down. All the way here. There are gonna be three guys coming down this way. 
and three guys coming from down here. So in total, there's going to be nine guys you're going to kill right at this exit or entrance. Then after that, there are... There are two guys kind of patrolling around these rocks. One guy that patrols around this crate in just a circle, and then two guys that patrol around this thing. And they're easy to take out. Not much to it. They're all spread out and in small groups, so it's easy. And then there are six guys at the very end here. One guy on a machine gun, kind of looking over this area. But he's not a threat when you move through here. So you don't have to worry about them. And there are five guys in here. Which you'll have to... Take out three of them with your grenades. Two or three of them with your grenades. Depends on what happens. But... And then, once you kill them, that is everyone on the mission and everything is completed. So yeah, it's... More complicated... To talk about it than to think it through, but hopefully that was good enough. So now, uh, we don't... I suppose you could take your guys, t like just do the standard setup, one rifleman each squad, but since we did the last mission with all objectives, we lo unlocked our first specialist, Lindy Cohen, which is probably, you're going to be, this is probably going to be your main person for the rest of the game, because she has these weapons, the semi-automatic grenade launcher, and just the, I guess, a more accurate rifle. And very high stats. But again, I don't know what the fuck those do. For the player, so. Doesn't matter, but. It's basically Will Jacobs. But Will Jacobs is an Island Thunder. So yeah, they're. They have the same weapons, which is frankly the only thing that matters. So yeah, this is the setup. You can go. With or without these two guys. Um, I guess I'll go with them just since I've done every other attempt with them. But so let's get started. Alright, so right away you want to run up here immediately. Right to this rock. See these guys moving. And of course I Got him! scuff the hell out of that. Got him! Yeah, you want to kill those guys as soon as possible. Goodbye. God, that was close. He's history. So that's those four. Something's closing fast. He's history. Jesus Christ, yeah. Kill confirmed. Sometimes I'm on point with like every shot. Sometimes it's just miss, 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 miss. And there's one guy right behind these rocks right here, so. Get one grenade. Goodbye. And now for this first section, there's only three more guys. One of them. Jesus. One of them usually comes out like that right away. And the other two like to camp the corner and. Sometimes can be difficult to deal with. Hopefully they come out and I don't have to... There we go, that's one. Got him! Come on. Okay, that's all of them. Goodbye. There we go. So three over here. Three that kind of come down here. One right here, one right there, and the truck. That comes from down there. And my game seems to be a little laggy, I don't know why. Well, maybe it's just me. But now we want to, when you come over here, you want to crouch down. Don't stand up and run through here because the two guys that are over here will shoot you if you come standing up and running. But crouching, I have found that they can't see you right over this thing. So you're gonna, I've, going 
going right up to this tree usually works, but as long as you got view down the center of this, should work. So let's see if my bad luck with shooting continues. You stand up. Kill, Kill one of them. The other, the other guy's gonna freak out. And here, he'll usually pop his head up like barely so you can see it. So it'll probably take a little bit. And then their third guy's gonna come down this way. There, there he is. Okay, he's done. Got him! Okay, is... Alright, that might have been him dying. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That's the third guy. Goodbye. And then the explosives guy. Right there. There we go. Kill That's the objective. Confirmed. And now, we deal with the other four guys right here. And... This is the most awkward part of the mission. Sometimes it takes a long time for them to come up. Like, you'll be sitting on red like this for a little bit, usually. And... Oh, no. And sometimes they'll come through this doorway. Sometimes they'll come over here. And I've had it where, like, uh, three come through here, one comes from this side. Or two come from here, two from that side. Or all four from here, and... And all four from that side, I assume, is possible. I've never... Okay. I've never had anyone... Jesus Christ, that was close. I need to stop talking. History. You can see his arm glitching through the wall there. So there's at least two guys down this way. We already got one. That's two. Got him. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, that's three. Goodbye. There we go. So yeah. Kill confirmed. I've never had anyone come around this side, so that side that side should be safe. But yeah, that was a three-one this time. So just be ready. Never zoom in unless you you know you're on the last guy and you know where he is, because otherwise he can sneak up on you from there. And if you're looking over there, they can sneak up on you from there. So yeah. Um. This guy, sometimes he can be weird, sometimes he can go down this way. He usually comes down this way and you can shoot him from back there, just like the uh, this guy. So, again, just be ready for, be ready for shit to go wrong. And now, the most frantic part of the mission, killing nine guys. can be difficult usually is eh. okay so yeah the three guys are coming over the hill right there okay, that's two three from that way there's gonna be a truck coming now okay that was all three of them and the guys that come over the hill like to come right down on you and just like walk right in front. Grenade! Shit. Okay, that was lucky. Kill confirmed. They usually don't use like hand grenades like that. That's two of those Goodbye. three. No, there's one more guy. There we go. They usually do that every time. They just like walk right up on you. And they do like grenades the hand grenades, but they don't use them as much as the grenade launchers, so that's good. 
and they're not very accurate with them. If you're if you're behind a corner like that, they usually aren't. They usually don't hit you with them. I've never gotten killed by a grenade in that section while doing this. So now we come up on this hill, and there are two guys right there patrolling by the rocks. Goodbye. There we go. We continue on. And that's the crate that one guy's going to be patrolling around. Okay, there he is. Okay. Kill confirmed. And now there are two guys further down that way by like a, a train station or something. Or uh, I don't know what, just a platform of some kind? I don't know. And they might be alerted, they might not be, if you depending on how, where you kill that guy. Okay, they're not alerted. Kill confirmed. Alright, there we go. Kill confirmed. And now there are just six guys left. And so don't don't go out in the open right here, kinda loop around like this and go up to this rock, because there are two guys that are gonna be out in the open in this warehouse. First guy is gonna be like right out in the open, just like that. That's the second guy. Now you should be safe to kind of move around freely out here. Then there's the machine gunner. He usually isn't a problem because I don't think he can turn the machine gun all the way over here to hit you. And now we just switch to a grenade launcher. And there's gonna be one guy kind of right behind these crates, like on this wall. So, all we do is, there we go, we knock him out, He's history. he was right there, kind of right behind there. And now, this, this section right here is actually pretty dark. Okay. Okay, Goodbye. that was the, that was the fifth guy. Sometimes he's further behind, and then, okay, sometimes he's further behind with another guy, which is always behind there. And to deal with the last guy, you do the same exact thing history. as you did over there, over there, and that's the mission. 9.49, yeah, so a little under 10 minutes for that one. I've had, I don't know what the longest I've had is, but yeah. But yeah, uh, 38 kills, so 38 enemies, and I didn't even need the two other guys. So yeah, that, that's a um, pretty simple, simple strategy. Just a little difficult to execute at some points. Like the uh, the part where you exit the refinery area and there's nine guys that can get a bit uh, difficult, depending on what the AI do. But this this one seems to be pretty reliable. I've I've done this several times over again. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, I'll be back with the next Cold Steam, I think it's called, the next one. Next time, so thank you for watching.